All right, today I'm going to be showing you kind of a workflow of doing some idle animations with Daz Studio, but doing it in After Effects. And as I go through this, first of all, I'm, I'm going to talk as I kind of decide on what my initial pose is going to be. The reason why I'm doing it this way is that I want to be able to render this out as 4K so I can kind of zoom in and even if my video end video is at uh, 1920 by 1080 it still gives me the ability to, to zoom in quite a bit um, and um, with that being able to render the 30 to 60 frames or whatever it is that I want to do is going to take me hours to render that and then not only that but it's very cumbersome um, to try to uh, do an idle animation in Daz Studio. I mean, you have to go to the first frame. Um, from there, you have to, you know, obviously decide on what your uh, initial pose is going to be. So let's, well, let's uh, let's just do a pose here. Let's find something that's could be a good idle. Let's see here. Let's try. Let's do a moody. So we're going to do this one here. So with this, if I wanted to do this as a idle animation just in Daz Studio, uh, the way I would need to do it is to take and, you know, kind of figure out what my, you know, halfway point is and then make a couple adjustments and then go back in and then hit this angry pose again at the end to get it to loop. But let's say that I wanted my first frame to be, you know, custom. Uh, well, I would have to go in and create a pose preset for this and then use that preset on the last frame. And it just becomes really cumbersome. And not only that, but I've never really gotten my um, idle animations just in Daz Studio um you know the the loops to actually look good they just don't look fluid and what i'm going to show you looks a lot more fluid so basically what i need to do is i just need one single render to be able to make this work and this is another reason why this is so great is because we don't need to worry about um we don't need to worry about rendering out a bunch of images Okay, so we're going to do portrait. Get are framed up. And let's, let's get her. Back. Let's get her looking at the camera a little bit more. Oops. yeah that'll be fine there so a couple things that i want to pay attention to as i'm doing this so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be using basically mess mesh manipulation in after effects so as we're looking at this pose we have to decide what kind of movement we want uh in between the different frames so if i want like this hand um, to be able to move off of this hip, then when I do this render, I need to pull it just off. I need to pull it off the hip a little bit. Um, but honestly, I'm not worried about this. For, for this first tutorial like this, I'm not going to worry so much about it. Just like I'm not going to really worry about her eyes, or I'm not going to worry about her hair. Uh, what we want to do is just kind of make just a simple uh, looping animation. Um, as we get more advanced, what we would do is we would move this hand off this quite a bit. Um, that way we can be able to move the move the arm in and out um, on both sides. We would render the hair. We would render without the hair, and then we just do a canvas um, of just the hair to make that a separate layer. Um, we could, if we wanted to have a little more jiggly or a little jiggly action in the middle here, we could um, render it with her being flat and then render the breasts 
uh, left pectoral and right pectoral as a separate image. We could do all kinds of things to really make this stand out, especially if we wanted like the hair to be able to move around. Uh, we would definitely want that to uh, be a separate layer, but we're not going to worry about that for now. We're going to do, we're going to go into here and we're going to make sure I'm going to make sure that the draw ground is off. Let's look to see what our, we want to look at shadows too, because shadows are going to be kind of important. Because the After Effects doesn't know, uh, doesn't, doesn't know what those shadows, it just, shadows are just part of the image. So um, if you have a bunch of shadows, like let's say underneath the breast or underneath the chin or whatever, as you're manipulating um, the pose, uh, that shadow is going to move with it. So you kind of want to do it without the shadows. Um, and then if you want to, you can add shadows into After Effects and actually make it look pretty good. So we're just going to uh, render this out. For the sake of this, um, and to make this quicker, we're just going to do it as smaller resolution. And then I think I'm also going to turn the tone mapping up a little bit, make her brighter because that's going to make the render time quicker. Once we're preparing that, let's uh, open After Effects. We're also not going to use any Photoshop in this. We're just going to bring the, the simple image over and manipulate that. Whereas Photoshop really becomes your friend in this if you want to get this a little bit more advanced new project let's do it as 1920 24 frames is fine now i'm going to speed through some of this stuff um if you've never used after effects go find a tutorial out there maybe i'll find um one of the good ones i used um that really helped me out and put that in the description um because uh this is kind of assuming that you at least have a little bit of a knowledge of after effects uh, I will be honest with you, I just started using Adobe products about a week and a half ago. So there's going to be some of you that are going to look at or watch this video and be like, why the hell is he doing it that way? Um, I'm still learning. Uh, let me know in the description below if there's some tricks that I'm not using that could really make this quicker. But this is just more about kind of a workflow that I'm using right now that makes the loop animations just, I mean, takes uh, a tenth of the time, probably less than that. Um, okay, for the sake of this, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna use this image here. Okay, so we got, we're gonna go Zilla pose and we don't really, I don't really care what it's, called there um i also just uh purchased or donated ten dollars to be able to get the duic um plugin for after effects and what that's going to allow me to do is to fully rig a character um how much uh how important that is i'm not sure i'm not even sure how much i'm going to use that i, mean, I think i'm going to learn it just because i think it's kind of cool the concept i don't know if it's really practical uh, whereas i think this is practical um, especially if like if you have a visual novel or something and you just want instead of having a static um image you know when when they're when they're an idol being able to have just a little bit of movement to uh, make it a little more interesting this will really help out all right so let's turn this to full uh and we're just going to put in uh, some pins here so we're going to put And here, let's put a pin here at the knees, bottom of the foot, probably at there, one at the shoulder, elbows, I'm going to put one below each breast, out where the nipple is. One kind of in between, but one below 
the chin, and then we'll put just one on the face. I think that will mostly do. We'll hold in here and get our starch tool, and then we'll put I one here. And this is just going to make it so that the it's a little bit more rigid around these um, joints, so it's not so bendy. And these are kind of the settings that I've found that have really worked pretty well for me. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into under here, hit U. That's going to create a keyframe in the beginning. And once again, we're going to kind of make this simple. We're just going to have, we're going to go at to about the uh, 32. Let's see. Now, this is something that I realized that I'm not 100% sure on. Let's see. We're, we're at 20. Okay, this is, this is how we're going to do this. We're at 24 frames per second. So the 12 frames is going to be our halfway point. We're just going to make this a one second um, loop. So let's go in here. And let's make this kind of simple. Let's down, pull down. Let's actually take. And if you know a way for me to be able to like lasso all these points and pull them down, okay, we're good. Let's uh, all at the same time. Let me know because this is kind of not a big fan of doing it this way. Okay, so right now we've got. that let's also maybe as she's going down let's pull oops maybe pull these elbows out a little bit and let's also pull this down here So now the one thing I'm not a big fan of is that it appears as we're going here that her bottom is just getting thicker. I don't necessarily want that. But we also want a little bit of a knee bend. I have a feeling that's probably going to be too much. Let's see here. And then should we give her just a little bit of a head movement in there. Not much because this can get distracting if there's too much head movement. Okay. For the sake of this tutorial, I think that's good enough. Uh, next thing we're going to, this is something that if anybody's got some ideas on this, this would be really awesome to help me with because I haven't been able to figure this part out to make this process a little bit quicker because I'm going to create the ping pong effect but I have to kind of go through each pin as far as I know um, I'm guessing that there's a quicker way of doing this excuse me just need a sip of my coffee real quick um, but we're going to go into animation and we're going to go add expression and then Open up every single one of these. Sleep. If I... Nope. I thought maybe that would open up every single one. Nope. Did not. I'm going to open up every single one of these. And we're going to add a ping pong effect, which is really cool. This is what one of the things that Daz is missing is being able to do kind of a, to, you know, just a really smooth 
loop animation, um, or at the very least being able to, you know, take all the keyframes from like frame one or frame zero and be able to copy those and then paste them at the end. It's honestly a little ridiculous that you can't do that. All right, so we're gonna write loop out. We go in here and just put quotation marks and then it gives us the ping pong. We're gonna take, copy that, paste it in each one of these. Now, uh, a couple other things on this is so far from what I found in this uh, workflow, this works best when you are basically doing subtle animations. Um, this process really isn't going to work so much if you're trying to do some really complex animation. Like, let's say you're trying to do a fight scene, uh, like a full fight scene, not like a, you know, cutaway between different um poses fight scene, this really wouldn't work very well. But if we're, you know, planning on just doing, you know, a close up shot of her talking. And we want to give her just a little bit more movement. You know, from maybe like three or four seconds and then move on to the next one, put her into a different pose. Uh, put a little mo movement into that and kind of keep doing that. I think this really works out well. Really hoping the Duic, the plugin for After Effects that I got, I'm really hoping it gives me some more options to be able to do some full-fledged 2D animation. Okay, so let's see here. That's a little bit fast, and honestly, we could we could spend a good amount of time on this to really make this look better. You know, I I probably should have maybe kept our feet more um, still. Would have made it be made this look a little bit better. Um, now we could also let's try this. So now that we have the ping pong effect, though, we can as long as we're not adding new pins, we can add some different things to this. Okay, like let's say so we're gonna go to frame twelve. So we've already got. The ping pong effect on all of these points already here so let's say we wanted to do just a slight movement in that area yep that's what we got but anyways for the next one what i think i'll do is and maybe we'll maybe we'll kind of stick with the same pose uh, for each one so that we can give uh, kind of make it more and more advanced as we go. Uh, one thing I'm working on learning how to do right now is here, let's get her to stop there um, is the eyes um, being able to use iRay uh, planes to be able to basically cut her face you know right where her eyes are so so eliminate the face or eliminate the eyes take those out in das studio um and so what you end up doing when you rendered her face is you would have her eye sockets with some pink behind it if you use a eye ray um plane uh, is it what what's it actually called a second i got in here um eye ray section plane node um what you'd end up doing let's see do i have it on yeah, yeah, it's not going to show right there. Uh, but what you do is that you would just cut it right behind her face, kind of right in the middle of her head. And instead of it being pink behind here, it would be transparent. And then you can render the eyes separately. And then you could kind of create an effect um, where you're able to move the eyes around. 
Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but it's pretty cool. Uh, and then as long as you're not doing too much stuff with the face, or at least the upper eyes, you can track that and be able to still have, like, let's say her eyes, let's say her face uh, or head moves this way, but then we move the eyes a little bit too at the same time. So it looks like her her gaze is, let's because if we look at this, her eyes aren't following. They're just kind of staying there, but we can make it so that, you know, as she's coming here, that maybe her eyes just move a little bit. So it looks like she's keeping her gaze on the camera, which would make it a little bit cooler. But anyways, that's all I got for today. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments if you think this is something that's actually valuable. Um, I've been trying to figure out ways of speeding up the process of animation, uh, especially uh, in particular um, idle animations for quite a while in Das Studio. And this is kind of the best thing I came up with. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, leave a like, make sure you subscribe. Everybody have a wonderful day.